I gave my friend Jarvis the recipe to make cupcakes, but my recipe is a little bit different. My recipe has been translated through a bunch of different languages and then cycled back to English. Let's see who makes the better dish. All right, so if you want to get to your uh, uh, station, station. Right quick, and we'll, we'll start it off. The original first step. The step original. one, preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> Buy one 12 cup standard muffin tin or two 24 cup mini muffin tins with cupcake liners. God? <laughs> or or Satan. I've got to preheat the oven, which when you heard the jingle, that's what was happening there. A recipe to, what is that beep? The oven's been the preheated to 350 degrees. <laughs> I also have to line one 12 cup standard muffin tin. Bada boom, bada bing, it's already been done. That translates to. Step two, whisk the flour. Baking powder and that's, salt wait, wait, that's wait, that's the wrong one. <laughs> that's wrong. Here, I'll try. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Grab 12 or 24 cake pans. How was that? That was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that worked out really well. 350 degrees. Do we do Celsius? Is that how we're gonna what do, do you this today? Think? Yeah, we could use do your brain. Kelvin, it is. And then it says grab 12 or 24 cake pans. All right, so. One. This is two. 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 <laughs> God. Three. Five. Seven. Eight. Eleven. Thirteen. Fourteen. Oh, I'm too short. This is how you make a cupcake. We gotta do 24, because we've already passed 12. 20. All right, we got four more. 21. Okay, 22. 23. The last one. 24. Oh! No! no! <laughs> It was on the 24th one. Yeah, so I was right, by the way. <laughs> I was a doubter and it paid off. All right, yeah, so this is the first step to making cupcakes. Hit it, God. Step two. <laughs> Whisk the flour, baking powder, and salt together in a medium bowl. All right, cool. Flour, baking powder, and salt. Don't need too much of these. So this is a cup. Okay, this is a little big. <laughs> Look, these are gonna be delicious. Right, the last time we did this with sushi, it turned out Wonderful. I know it's everyone's saying there's a lot of mess, and I agree. You didn't bring me here for to be clean. But I'm give me sorry. a second. I need to think about the, <laughs> the uh, how much salt versus how much baking powder. This is like a teaspoon, I guess. Two teaspoons of baking powder. I'm gonna put in one teaspoon of salt. You okay. don't want too much salt. Okay. All right. We're just gonna whisk this. We're gonna whisk it for the biscuit. <laughs> you know <laughs> what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> Who let him cook? Right. All right. What's the translated part? Step two. Throw the flour, baking powder, and soda into a medium bowl. <laughs> I have my medium bowl here. Jarvis, could you hold this? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. They said, you're gonna need this. And then they gave me a poncho. As the translated recipe says, throw the flour, baking powder, and soda. Get that smile off your face. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, no, it's Google translated. <laughs> it's like, that's not even, no, it's you translated. Missed. Also, I'm gonna get <laughs> lung cancer from the, the, the flour I'm inhaling. Lightly toss here. There we go. See, look, that's that's how you do it. I'll get the soda. You just need a little dash of baking powder. <laughs> a little dash. You need this. Oh, we got some. <laughs> okay, here you go. Sorry, no, sorry. I was just I was just cowering a little bit for unrelated reasons. <laughs> there we go. All right. So then I'll, I just have to throw this too, right? Just like that was the weakest. There we go. That that works. That works. That works fine. That works fine. Grab me a little like dash for baking powder. <laughs> you want more baking powder? I, wait, did, we, did you put baking powder in here? Oh, I guess I didn't. There we go. So this is the uh, current concoction that we have for cupcakes. It looks like yours, actually. Yeah, you can say that. <laughs> Let's go over to the original recipe from the big man upstairs. Step three. In another medium bowl, beat the eggs and sugar with a hand mixer until light and foamy, about two minutes. While beating, gradually pour in the melted butter and then the vanilla. Got it. We got, we got the medium bowl. Uh, we got a couple of eggs. I need pure vanilla extract. Great value, no, not spawn. So this is butter. I'm gonna melt this. Okay, so we need sugar. We're gonna put a little less than a cup. Okay. And then we need our eggs. <laughs> so we're gonna beat these with a hand mixer. I know you're pissed off that I'm doing a good job. Actually looks really good. <laughs> yeah, you want a drink? <laughs> I want about a half cup of butter. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, this so is so chunky. perfect. <laughs> and then we gotta pour in the vanilla. I'm done. Okay, so now it's time for you to do your deal. Yeah, all right. Uh, take it away, God. Step three. Beat the pan until the salt and garlic dissolve. About two minutes. Add eggs and vanilla one at a time. Use butter mixer. Okay. Uh, that sounds like a reasonable translation. So we're gonna... <laughs> Sorry, I'm still trying to read. 
beat the pan. So we can take out the pan here, the lined cupcakes. Oh, so you had those the whole time. Don't ask questions. <laughs> Let me just move some of these. Uh, can I just point out that uh, this assumes that you have already added salt and garlic. Which means we have to add them. Dude, these cupcakes are gonna be ass. <laughs> it's really hard to beat the pan when you have like alcoves. So you always turn it around and you just kind of put like the garlic on top. Lightly salt the pan as well. And then you beat the pan until it, it dissolves. Oh no. <laughs> we wanna beat the, the uh, garlic until it dissolves. Just kind of like. Yeah, keep going. You're yeah, good. It's the other one, right? But you're, you're killing it. That's, yeah, perfect. Look at that, look, it's, 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 I would consider in some ways that that is dissolved. Add eggs and vanilla one at a time. All right, so we're gonna begin with egg right there. And then one vanilla bean, you know, we just kind of just add it in there. And then we got another egg, lightly sort of put it in there. <laughs> that is the <laughs> weirdest thing I've ever seen. It says specifically use butter mixer. I feel like it's a fair assumption that it means that you need to use the butter as like a mixture. Like you want to mix it all together mm. with the butter itself. Cause this is like what greases up the pan, you know? Yeah, I'm just having a hard time understanding how that's going to turn into anything edible. <laughs> as I, it I, is <laughs> a pile of trash. <laughs> I'm super happy so far. Uh, but what's the next step, Jarvis? I got to give it up to the man upstairs. Step four, <laughs> mixing slowly, add half of the flour mixture, then add all the milk, followed by the remaining flour mixture. Take care not to overmix the batter. Mm, mm. Mm. Got it. Cup of milk, add half of the flour mixture, and then add the milk, followed by the remaining flour mixture. That is some batter looking stuff right there. <laughs> oh, it's so batter-like and edible. <laughs> And those Eric. are all in a day's work. And now let's see what the translated is. Step four, gradually add half the flour mixture and mix well. Then add the whole milk, don't forget. So we'll start with the first half, the flour mixture. Do we have <laughs> Oh no. Do you mind if I no. just kinda? It's for you. <laughs> it's just. How do you pick out what the one it? that was limp? Thanks man. You're welcome, it's for you. <laughs> Clearly what you need to do when you are making your flour mixture is to uh, cut off the stems. Man, these are hard <laughs> uh, to do to get the proper flours that you want to cook because you can and mom, I was a good son. What was that last part? What? Clearly you have to put the flours in. You take the, I've actually never used one of these. Look, they're, they're all like mortared down. I feel like I need to, I'm assuming we put it into uh, the previous um, bit. Can we get an overhead on Eric's uh, situation? <laughs> Where does the barcode come in to the family <laughs> recipe? I like to cook the barcode into the cupcakes mm -hmm. so that if somebody plans to buy them later, it's super easy to go click clack in out. Yeah. Well, no further questions. So the next thing is add the whole milk. It's just. Oh. <laughs> and then it says, don't forget. Uh, don't. Forget? What am I forgetting? I don't, I don't understand. What is this? I don't, I don't, I don't remember. What is this? What was I, what was I doing this entire time? I don't understand. I, I have forgotten something incredibly important. I just can't for the life of me remember. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, we're going to go and see what the next step of the original cupcake recipe is. Step five, divide the batter evenly in the prepared muffin tin. This is, I, this is a step I'm really excited about. So what is the method of delivery that you prefer? Uh -huh. I scoop and drop, I do a little scoop and drop. A little scoop and drop. That's a thick batter. It is thick batter. <laughs> they said don't overmix, maybe I overmix. Yeah. I'm done. Look, I'm not proud of this. I mean, I am. I'm gonna be proud of the taste. Those look like wonderful cupcake starters. They are. They, they look, I said they look like, they, was it <laughs> yeah. sarcastic? It Those kinda, look like wonderful. Kinda everything you've been saying this whole time has sounded sarcastic. And you know what doesn't sound sarcastic? The voice of God. Uh, <laughs> Divide the batter between the prepared mix. You might lose your wallet. Oh, God. Okay, we're gonna put it all together and just kind of like let it all flow in and, f 
And <laughs> what was that? Was that the sound? That of is disgust? the sound of joy. That is yeah. the sound of joy. Kind Very of sound like you were trying to hold hold it together. You know, it's tasty. You want to try some? No. Divide the batter. <laughs> How am I supposed to divide this? That's what the cake pans are for. You're just supposed to divide one into the other while misting. <laughs> And now they're clearly divided into liquids, and then we have the solids here. Uh, now it says uh, you might lose your wallet. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lose this thing. Come on, like I'm not gonna lose it. No. Anyways, so let's go to the original recipe and uh, shoot off over to you. Step six: Bake until a cake tester inserted into the center of the cupcakes comes out clean, rotating the tin about halfway through baking time. 18 to 20 minutes for standard cupcakes, or 10 to 12 minutes for minis. I think these are normal. I don't know what a cake tester is. They're like toothpicks, right? Why do they have to call it a cake tester? <laughs> do they sell it at the store as a cake? It's just fucking like toothpicks and they just upcharge it? It's like if they put like gamer picks, you know? Yeah. Of like, you know, it's like RGB yeah, like, toothpicks. Here we go. Right. Oh, that, oh, just the heat of the oven makes me feel so at home. Oh, it's nostalgic. All right, so let's set an alarm for 10 minutes, chat. You guys can set the alarm. We're not. I'm gonna try to remember. What is next? Step six. Fire with white bread for 18 to 20 through quickly cake, or 10 to 12 for smalls. <laughs> <laughs> quickly cake is funny to me. Fire with white bread for 18 to 20, we'll figure that out. Well, we got white bread and we need to fire this. There's only like one possible option what fire can mean. And that's using a flamethrower. So let's uh, prepare the food. Have some of the white bread. It sounds like you know what you're doing. Release it. Perfect. Look at that, all flowery. And so we're gonna take this and uh, sort of uh, take it. Can I get some of the uh, mist? Gotta make sure you get in all those crevices. I'm gonna leave. And three, two, one. Oh, a little bit more, right? Perfect. Wow, that looks like cupcakes. You want a light char. Ah. Wow, these look like good cupcakes. So let's go into the original recipe hey, of, of cupcakes. We've got a few more minutes, all right? Don't worry, chat. I did do the little 180 on the cupcakes. Ooh, nice. So now we're gonna wait another 10 minutes. Oh yeah, we can do a little plug segment. Oh, baby! Woo! Look at those cakes of cup. Though we do need to use a cake tester, which I learned is a fancy name for a toothpick. Now they aren't RGB lights, um, but we aren't gaming. Uh, so these do need more time. All right, we'll leave them in. Look, uh, I'm trying to cook. Look, I'm not going to skimp on my family's recipe for the sake of content. Shut the oven so it's still. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I had some sh to say. I also don't know what you mean by uh, uh, doing food for content. Okay, this is clearly the international recipe of cupcakes. What's the next original recipe supposed to be? What's voice Step of seven. cool cupcakes in the tin on a rack for ten minutes? See, there's more waiting. Then Remove from the tin and cool on the rack. You, you should have planned for this. Don't look at me like I'm supposed to be Man, making the content happen. My co-host, am I right? Of God, he's the baked worst. The whole ass oh. That is the original recipe. Uh, we will go back to that in a second, but let's take on uh, what that means uh, with Google Translate. Step seven, leave it in the form for 10 minutes, <laughs> then remove it and use it as play. <laughs> um, so I think- I, mean, I think you have left it in the form <laughs> for this, 10 minutes. I guess this is the form. Remove it and use it as plates. Oh, what's the best way you think to remove this? Uh, probably a <laughs> giant spatula. So you gotta like really get, a, it's solid. Uh, <laughs> It's not expecting that. Lift it up, and then you want to like take it off, right? And just use, like use it as a plate right there. You just really just kind of like, ah, oh, beautiful. Look at yeah. that. Look at that. And we don't need the rest of this. This is residue, so we'll just like place that here. <laughs> you, you know, a recipe is good when it has residue. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll take this and we'll use it like as a plate. So I feel like we kind of like, yeah, there we go. Roll it down. Roll. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry. This is a very technique, skill-based sort of um, maneuver. Look at that. That's just. That is unspeakable. True. <laughs> I, I think this is maybe the first time we've agreed. <laughs> I guess we'll just uh, wait more for yeah, the cupcakes. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm ready to bring, bring them out. Wow, look at that. Really just put them side by side. In the translator recipe, leave it in the form for 10 minutes. So I've left it in the form, right? Then remove yeah. it and use it as a plate. 
So do you mind if I take one of these? You can take one. And uh, I'll take this and I'll, I'll use it as a plate. Can I taste test one of these? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like moment of truth. This is cakey. Yeah, it does look like cake. Let's break it apart. Let's break it open. Are we ready for this? Oh, look at that steam. Look at that steam. Eric, give it a go. That's actually not bad. That's pretty good. It's a cupcake. That is a cupcake. It's a cupcake, everybody. Wow. Do you want to try mine before we frost it? No. <laughs> Let's go to the next uh, step. We'll do them both together. Step eight. Frost and massage. <laughs> do we have frost? Oh, we have frosting. We have frosting. frosting. We have pre-made frosting. I'm not a big frosting guy, so I'm only gonna add a little bit of frosting. So mine said uh, uh, frost and massage as desired. Okay. That's gross. That's like. <laughs> this is this is this is for a demographic. Let me tell you. Dude, I think it's great. I think it's going well. And I gotta like massage it too. Oh, right. I gotta add frosting to the cupcake. There we go. Perfect. It looks like we got uh, two side by side. Which one would you say is your best? That one. Okay, perfect. So if you look very closely, you can see two cupcakes side by side. You get the original cupcake right here. And then uh, you get the cupcake that you get when you translate uh, it through multiple languages, multiple different times, and it looks uh, different. Now, it's not done yet, obviously, because, well, we gotta do a taste test. Let's bring in production real quick. The man, the myth, the legend from Food Beast, we got Eli. I'm honored to be here. So this one has wallet in it? Yeah. I mean. Yeah, there you go, perfect. Look at that. Yeah, so there is wallet in That here, is wallet. Course. Inside is a uh, uh, expired Metro card. This really is a Metro card, okay. Yeah, that is. The butter, of course, al dente. Yeah, so if you wanna uh, try, you know, we, we can each try a little bit. A little bit. Uh, right there, you know, get and a little I'll bit pass. of it. Bon appetit. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Yeah. Uh, I definitely, I definitely taste that wallet. Well, look at the little side crunch. You got a little. Oh, you got a little side crunch in there. This is good. Oh, I didn't even do the special cupcake eating way where you make it a sandwich. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Yummy. <laughs> what does it mean? Oh wow. I thought you were <laughs> just gassing it up earlier. <laughs> that was actually pretty, that's pretty nice. Actually. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's pretty nice actually. The most unexpected <laughs> thing. From... <laughs> I came up here to try to talk about just. <laughs> it's actually really good. You know what, congratulations thank on you, winning the first winner ever of Google Translate Cooking. Um, it wasn't a competition until it was. <laughs>